Hello everyone and welcome back. I am Duke Silver. Today we are playing Goldilocks. Uh, sorry for the late upload today. Things have been a little bit hectic for me and I just uh, couldn't quite get to finishing the editing until uh, until just now. But uh, uh, but yeah, also a couple things I wanted to get uh, get into just before we get started. I have a set schedule over on Twitch now. Um, so yeah, I should be able to uh, have a uh, specific, or, sorry consistent uh, streaming schedule. Um, and yeah, the streams will definitely be like mostly Storybook Brawl. But uh, but I have been uh, been thinking about getting into sort of uh, variety gaming a little bit. Like just I mean like I'm, my my main focus is of course still going to be Storybook Brawl. But uh, but I've got a couple a couple um, games that I've been recording and uh, wouldn't mind uh, uploading. Uh, I want I wanted to ask if uh, if you would be okay with uh, with seeing other games on this channel or or do you think I should start uh, a second channel for just like uh, variety variety games, which I would just mostly upload uh, streams, but. But I've got kind of a, I've got some some brotato content I kind of wanted to upload, in kind of in my old style with just the music. Um, but yeah, just let me know what you think about that. Um, again, the daily storybook brawl uploads wouldn't change. I would just be be kind of adding uh, just like a little bit of variety just to keep things fresh um, for myself mostly, I guess. <laughs> um, but anyways, let's get into this game. We're in, we're three point one. We're Goldilocks. We just took a huge hit. Um, we took a lot of damage in that last fight because the earthquake just kind of ruined us and these shops are definitely not ideal um so i think uh we took a roll in the last shop i think we're gonna just take the bossy and doubly here and kind of hope that that's good enough for now um it adds some stats to our boards definitely not ideal but uh but basically we need to just like kind of stem the bleeding because uh that last last combat went really poorly and this combat didn't go great either we lost another fight and we're down to 23 on 3.2 so we're uh, we're not looking great uh we do find a princess white and a and a lucky there which uh which we pick up so we're probably taking damage again yeah i mean the fates fates is generally very strong very strong in the early mid game you can you can kind of count on losing fights to them uh pretty consistently as they're they've got their treasure and they've got their uh their golden character at this point um, can we find a we find a, uh, a fanny here on level four thanks to Goldilocks's uh, all level four shop So we're gonna do that and then uh, that's gonna add a decent chunk of stats to our board All right, and then we get our level two treasure and uh, this is not these selections are not that great I mean, we're kind of leaning into dwarves here um, which uh, Which means like dark contract is definitely not that appealing. We are we're gonna take the speculative uh, ring of meteors over uh, over secret stash i mean because we're losing secret stash seems like the pick but i figure um like i said we're leaning into dwarves here uh i think i think just taking the ring of meteors ahead of time like we have a really good chance of seeing angry once we get to level five and that should give us a decent power spike especially if we can find any xp on uh, on level four here um and our ring of meteors immediately pays off um our opponent so <laughs> kind of a uh, kind of some instant regret there but fortunately, with our uh, the addition of our our fanny and extra stats, there we do manage to take down the fight. Um, also, uh, another reason that I took the ring of meteors is, uh, of course, we can find greedies. Greedy is definitely a unit that we would want to play, especially in front of our fanny. All right, and there is uh, there's another monster book, and there's also a tiny. Tiny's gonna finish uh, Princess White's quest, so I think we're gonna take that first and see what we get. And none of these are all that great, um, but since we have this other monster book in the shop, uh, I, we're gonna we're gonna do another hedge. Basically, we're hedging our bets against uh, not being able to assemble um, any kind of dwarf comp here, and we're gonna take sarcophagus, which is gonna add a a certain amount of power. It's not not a ton on this specific board, but uh, but in general, like if we can lean into it, then uh, if we end up having to lean into a sarcophagus, then we've got that sort of as a backup plan. And I think it was just better. I think it was better than skipping or taking the bad moon or eye of Aries there, because neither of those treasures do anything for us. And also, um, the I think the monster book monster books are are relatively good, um, uniquely with the uh, sarcophagus, just because they they kind of produce their own um, their own scam like fireballs and lightning bolts and whatnot. So coupled that with the uh, sarcophagus damage. I think they're uh, they're pretty potent um, sarcophagus um, activators, if you will. 
you know, over over like tokens or whatever, the fact that they they do things other than just produce sarcophagus hits, I think makes them at least slightly valuable. And these sarcophagus hits have not have been uh, pretty decent for us so far. We have managed to stabilize, and unfortunately, we don't see a single angry in our level five shop, which is or a Tweedle even, which is a little bit unfortunate, but. Um, thankfully, this, uh, this sarcophagus hedge is really, really paid off with this shop, because it's all evils. So we're definitely going to take the, we take the pair of, uh, of, uh, apple trees out of there, and then we, uh, and then we roll. Uh, we didn't want to take the, like, three big pigs. I mean, the Neon could have been, uh, there's an argument for taking the Neon. Um, the three big pigs, I think, we just, without any way to support them and put stats on it, even with the sarcophagus, I'm not super excited to take it. But here we're just gonna, I think we're just gonna get out of dwarves completely, basically. And uh, and we're gonna move into evils. So we're gonna t pick up a, a siren there. And that poison apple with our ring of meteors uh, combo really kind of hoses us. So this uh, this ring of meteors has been absolutely disastrous for us. It's kind of a, a cautionary tale. <laughs> Maybe don't speculate on ring of meteors if you don't have a way to, to use it already. Uh, Cause yeah, we've had several opponents get like way, way more benefit out of this uh, ring than, than we've gotten, which is uh, pretty awkward. But I mean, that's just the way it goes sometimes, I suppose. All right, we get a level three treasure out of our triplies, out of our triplie, and we can get rid of this ring of meteors, thankfully. And uh, and yeah, the triplie is gonna have a ton of stats, and because we have this forking rod now, the feed the kraken is gonna give us four extra gold. So we're gonna, we're just basically gonna be looking for. Uh, for either Nian, which we find here, or uh, or um, obviously our, our apple tree triple. And again, the uh, the treasure map is fantastic because we already had the we already had the monster book pair, and we already had the apple tree pair. I mean, we're at we're at ten, so like things are things are pretty in a pretty pre precarious position here for us. But hopefully, uh, hopefully things are gonna or think things are gonna work out for us, and they do in that fight. We managed to get the the right attacks there to uh, to escape without taking damage, even though we were pretty evenly matched there. All right, and now we're going into level six. Um, we're not set up for Black Prism at all. Uh, Excalibur and Holy Grail do basically the same thing, except Holy Grail just does it better. So uh, so I think it's a pretty easy Holy Grail there. Even though we're at ten, we're against one of the top boards. We're we're kind of in trouble, but we do get a forked lightning bolt here. So um, basically, we're just. Uh, we're just really hoping to survive this fight without taking damage, or at least not taking lethal damage. Double Lightning Bolt onto their Golden Sporko there is is perfect for us. I think that's uh, that's a great result for us. And yeah, they still have a lot of stats over there, but our Sarcophagus ends up doing just enough to uh, allow us to escape the fight without any uh, without any damage taken there. And our level six shop pretty uh, pretty bad. We see a lordy, but uh, but again, we're out of dwarves. We're not we're not going to lean into it. We're not going to lean into dwarves here. There was a pair of yorms, so we take those and we find a, a yorm triple. And I think we're basically locked into pumpkin with this setup. So that's why we're just going to jam that uh, that singing sword there. Because uh, as soon as we find a pumpkin, then uh, then we're the singing sword is going to look very very good. But we do have to find a pumpkin first. Also, like tr traditionally with with the holy grail, you want to just like. You want to go trees if you can, um, and yeah, we chose the uh, the Pandora's box over um, over in Beginning Stone. There, we just didn't really have enough time. And Beginning Stone, obviously, with uh, with Grail is fantastic because you just you can just buy so much and put so so many stats on the board. But we just didn't really have the time. And yeah, there's an Ashwood in our final shop, but yeah, we don't find a single pumpkin. We didn't find trees. This is like one of the most disappointing Holy Grails of all time, maybe. So. Uh, yeah, again, that's unfortunate, but um, we do have uh, some decent scam going on now. We've got uh, we've got a couple Medusas, we've got a golden Bob, our golden uh, Boomhilda, and we get a mirror mirror out of our Pandora's box, which uh, we're actually very very set up for a mirror mirror scam here. So, so that's what we're going to be doing now. Again, we still just really really want to find P pumpkin. Um, like, uh, the Mirror Mirror is a huge, huge stat boost, especially since we have the Oni Tyrant in the back now. So those 1-1 one, one, um, Medusas that are not only supported by uh, Boomhilda are going to get the plus 13, plus 13 when they attack, making them into very, very real threats, even when they're resummoned. 
and the fact that they have so much attack means that they don't actually like they're not they're not so bad uh, at getting attacked into you because that's one of the weaknesses of Medusa is uh, if it gets attacked into it does actual nothing but but these Medusas have a uh, have a ton of attack on them and yeah we make sh very short work of that uh that opponent as you can see our our, our massive boost in strength there really uh really showing up all right we're gonna take rumple stiltskin here off of our hero change um we're just gonna get like a free 12 gold or whatever next turn and there's our pumpkin finally we can get out of this yorm and yeah now uh now we just have to work on triples although this uh that doom breath attack is uh definitely not ideal apparently they uh missed on missed on some dwarves so they're supplementing it with uh with some with some scam this is the ghost though so uh we don't actually end up struggling too much with them it was just one one bad attack made things look kind of sketchy there all right there's another oni tyrant which i think we're gonna take also i forgot that we had the spinning gold so uh i'm just gonna quickly sell and we're gonna go up to 22 gold i know we missed out on some gold value but i felt felt like i needed to get the I needed to get the spinning gold this turn. Also, that allows us uh, some rolls to find more pumpkins or this uh, upgraded Oni Tyrant, which we get a spear out of. And I think uh, Sarcophagus has run its course, so, so we're going to move into a spear instead. And yeah, we're just going to lock that Pegamorph for next turn. Unfortunately, this uh, Peter Pants does not have the uh, the third piece to their uh, their puzzle here. They've got a, a Dracula Saber with their hat ball. So that's probably not going to be quite enough for them. So we refill our board with our pumpkin there. And then we take down the fight. All right. Fire off our Pig of War. There's another um, Oni Tyrant, which I think we are going to take. Um, it's good with Mirror Mirror, because if it gets attacked into, it's still there. And it's just going to add a ton more stats on Termoduces whenever they attack. There's a, okay, so there's a Royal Comp with a Golden Good Boy. But fortunately, our Medusas are, uh, are going to put in some work here. Taking out a couple of their, uh, their large characters there after, after the Pigamorph took out something in the back row is, uh, pretty huge. And yeah, they don't have any good characters left by the time we attack into their good boy. So, uh, so yeah, we uh, we handle them pretty uh, pretty easily with our Medusa Mirror Mirror scam. I was considering TLKing on the Nian, but I think there's not enough things that we actually care to hit at this point. Um, I, the I, I really really like TLK on a Golden Nian when I need direction, but the fact that we have. Uh, Basically, all everything we need, we're just kind of trying to increase the strength of our board at this point uh, means that I, I, I like it a little less. And I would rather just find like a combat spell or a, it was all a dream as we just sold for here and turned into sad Dracula. Getting first attack with our Medusa seems like a no brainer. So we're going to do that and we get a very good attack there. Them attacking into our Medusa, getting us a second Medusa attack in slot one is very, very good. And they're just attacking into our pumpkins now which uh, pops out a second apple tree. And yeah, we have uh, more than enough stats to win that one. Knocking them down to four. Uh, there's an argument for taking Cat's Call there. Uh, but we rolled and down and we find the Pigamorph, which is exactly what we want. Opponent also found a Pigamorph though, and they're going to Pigamorph our first Medusa. Which is a little unfortunate, because then our... Uh, our pig gets uh gets resummoned there as well, but they get attack into it, fortunately for us. We only get one Medusa attack in our front row, which is a little bit unfortunate. They still have a lot of stats there in that uh that Tweedle. It's a very, very large dwarf on the back there. And yeah, we're gonna <clears throat> They managed to uh, to battle us into a tie. Just a little unfortunate, but I think uh, com combat just went kind of poorly. But I think uh, I think we're still heavily heavily favored here. Um, yeah, I think combat would have to go uh, go exceptionally poorly again, and they would have to find another Pigamorph for us to uh, for us to keep losing these fights. 
It's a lot of a lot of lordy stats now though, but we get a, we get two Medusa attacks this this time, which is definitely more than enough here as they're down to just their back row and our pumpkin just pops for the first time, and there's the second pumpkin pop, which managed to steal their very large uh, Amy there. <clears throat> Excuse me, we refill our board and uh and that's it. We get there with a pretty clutch uh, mirror mirror scam. Um one of the worst holy grails possibly ever. Uh I feel like yeah, we just didn't really see anything. Um I think we were too far away from like a good boy pivot. Uh the trees didn't show up. The uh the pumpkin that we were set up for didn't decided not to show up during the holy, holy grail turn, but we did get strong enough to stabilize and uh and the Pandora's box into Mirror Mirror was enough for us to, to close the game out. Um, but yeah, so yeah, if you found this uh, educational or entertaining or some mix of the two, please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, it really helps the channel and I really appreciate it. Again, we're, we're clo closing in on 500 subscribers. Um, I will be doing a giveaway at 500 subscribers for two 700 gem codes. Um, and I'll be doing more giveaways on my Twitch channel as well as we uh, as we hit milestones over there. And uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully we'll start hitting those milestones once we uh, once we have this uh, sorry uh, this uh, set stream schedule, and we can uh, we can be there uh, consistently. Um, but yeah, I think uh, I think that's everything. Again, if if you want to follow my Twitch, so it's uh, in the description and in the pinned comment. And uh, and I'd love to know your thoughts on whether I should uh, whether I should start a second channel for uh, for variety games or. Uh, or if it's, or if I should just uh, just start posting them on here. Um, I know, like this has been like a storybook brawl, basically like 99.9% .9 of the time uh, channel. So, uh, so seeing other other types of content that you don't really necessarily want to click on might just uh, might just clutter things up. So, um, definitely, it's fine if you if you think I should start another channel. Um, but yeah, with all that being said, I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I will see you tomorrow.